Hey everybody, we are back again with another looking at toys video. Camera guy, hand across. What have we got here? Loads of boxes. These are all San Diego Comic Con exclusives. They're actually ordered by us quite a long time ago and it has actually taken nearly a year for them to be delivered to us. Uh, appreciate obviously COVID has delayed things and it's actually been that long since these were ordered that I don't even know what is in them. Can you believe that? So first item is Kid Robot. Can't see, unfortunately they've overtyped the, uh, the label there, so I can't actually see what it is. But, whatever it was, we got two of them. A dummy 8 inch. This is not a toy. Have a look at that then. How should we do this camera guy? Should we open it or should we keep it sealed? Or should we get everything open and then have a look at those? But anyway, we got two of these, whatever they are. And looking at the year, isn't one on the back? Probably inside the packaging. Anyway, we have two of these. Should we put them down here? Oops. And then this one, obviously the packaging starting to uh, open up a little bit there. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember this one, Necker. So this, of course, as viewers will know, we are huge fans of TMNT, and this was one of the sets from last year's Comic Con. Does it open? Can you see what's inside? Now these ones are ones that we'll probably keep for ourselves. Um, if it is something that you're interested in, you'd probably have to direct message us and have a look at those. Camera guide, pan across that. So these are really nicely detailed figures. It is the Catwoman from Channel 6. So they actually do look a lot better than what the pictures actually showed them to be looking like. And what else did we get here with it? A little poster. So the way that they did these was of course that they released them in various sizes just to sort of um, make it a bit more difficult to um, pop these out. So you get a badge, poster, a pin, that's if you're in America, obviously we would call that a badge. And this April O'Neill press pass. Which was made in China. And you also get this rather nice t-shirt. Let's put that across the top there. Camera guy, step back. Have a look at that. Actually, really nice material. Camera guys, you can see how soft that was. But this is an XL. So, not one that obviously we're gonna probably ever wear, so size doesn't really matter. So let's put that one down here. We're gonna disappear in toys at this rate. Camera guy, look at this one. This is how it came. It is actually a slightly damaged box and it is, of course, a live opening. What could it be inside? Do you know what? I don't even know what this is. Okay. Well, we managed to get two of those, apparently. That is the Flash Gordon figure. And 
the enemy of Flash Gordon is of course Ming. And we have two of these figures. All mint. Oh, it's got a teeny bit of a fold in there, but I guess that's because it's been in there, but uh, really nice detailed figures. These were of course exclusives. Another Turtles figure set. This one again by NECA, which opens from that side and of course features all four Turtles in disguise. But as you can see, loads of really nice little touches and features here. We've got the pizzas, pizza slice, an even stereo. Or a beatbox and Pidgey, little pigeon there. So we actually had a guest pigeon here at our house. Gone now though. And what's better than having one of those? Having two of course. So again, our turtles figures we tend to uh, keep but um, as we have two we may be tempted to uh, put these up for sale obviously we seem to have got multiples of um, how can you put those safe we seem to have got multiples of uh, many of our items which is good for us of course and this box here is another one which I don't even have a clue as to what is in here. I can't remember how much did you spend buying all this stuff? And this is another Catwoman from Channel 6. So this must have been sold as a set again. And we got two of them. How did I manage to do that? So everything inside here is the same. Obviously the badge is open in this one or the press pass. And then we have another t-shirt as well. I think this one may be a different size for, there's probably a limit to how many you could check out with. But I'm not gonna open that up any further. Obviously you already know what's in there. So let's pop this one down at the side here. Probably don't need that box anymore, do we, camera guy? Okay, let's have a look then. What have we got here next box? So I think as it's been tough for a little while, the tape's actually started to go on it. So this is another Necker item. And this is number 2063 of the Worldwide Edition of 3000. So that's a fairly limited edition set. And this will be I remember these now. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles again. So we've got a shredder and a splinter figure. Camera guy get in there and look at the fine detail on these set figures. Can you see his uh, outfit is even made out of real cloth and you can see the fraying of the material there. So some time has been spent uh, designing these and obviously getting the features all right. Comes in this really nice bubble wrap which obviously protects it. So were we lucky enough to get two of them, or is this just the same? Description, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1990 movie, Splinter and Shredder 2 packs. This is going to be the same, isn't it? This is part of number 2060 of 3000. So again, say it's a worldwide release, it's uh, of course quite a small number. I'm glad you're going to be putting all of these away later. Obviously, this 
this is a live opening. So you will have to bear with me if I'm struggling with this one. The glue is just stuck to the box there. I'm guessing it's going to be exactly the same as the other set that we opened. And yes, it is the same. So it includes a splinter and a shredder. So if I remember these, it was like, I can't even remember now how many delays they had in getting those out. Lots, anyway. Okay, last box that we're down to then. This is another box that we have here. Do we have in this one? What about that camera guy? What's better than having one, two? We have number three. And it is the same kit. It does have a little split in the box there. And there too, unfortunately, this one. Better than three is, of course, to have four. So this was a limited edition release. And um, how have we managed to check out four of them when there's a limit of two? I can't even remember. But they have come as separate packages, so whether we used a separate account but were really fast, don't know. The last item in here, I think, is going to be another Catwoman set. Ooh, well, with this drop, didn't we? Normally, you're lucky to get one. And yeah, we have another one of those. Camera guy, you better not tell Mrs. Looking at Toys that we've got all of these and they're all the same. So our channel, Looking at Toys, does of course feature rare and collectible toys. This is an SDCC uh, exclusive review that we've done. Um, SDCC 2022, of course, is just going on now. Uh, these ones are, of course, from last year. Um, we've managed to get some items um, from this year's drop. Obviously, um, the suppliers, uh, manufacturers, I should say, are um, selling them direct now so as to reduce the uh, number of scalpers on um, eBay from America that of course charge an absolute fortune to uh, to resell uh, to collectors like ourselves. Um, so um, when we do get those, hopefully it won't be too long, we will of course be doing some videos to review those as well. And uh, of course do be sure to subscribe to our channel if you are interested in any of the items that we have featured here and you are a UK buyer, uh, then of course do be sure to drop us a message. And of course, do visit our website, which is of course www.lookingattoys.co.uk, and uh, we will catch you on the next video. And uh, we will catch you on the next video.